been given direction to write a description for that position uh, and then wait till October as we get farther into the recruitment process for the director and begin advertisement for that position. So by the time a new director is on board, uh, that person will have applications to start reviewing for that uh, mid-level manager. So is the administrative assistant going to bounce between both buildings and try to handle things for generation and distribution? At this point, there are two administrative assistant positions. Uh, currently, I think the exact disposition of that position <laughs> remains to be seen. I know uh, when I hired on, the suggestion was when Amy was still here to move her over to um, the Energy Center, but it looked like she probably had more uh, need uh, at distribution. Uh, since we're only a block away, most communication is electronic anyway, we've left it that way. That's a, a good question. I don't have an answer for you yet. I think the next, uh, 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 the next regime is going to have to uh, make that decision. And Dave, since I moved into it, temporary supervisor job or down the line. Right? That's correct. Thank you, sir. So we have lots of positions. Yeah, one, two, main crew, and then we have three, and then we have three, and three, and then we have three, and then we have three, and then we have three, and then So the double E that we're, uh, we're going to have to replace is going to go into utility manager position in the org charger? Or uh, actually, the electrical staff engineer. The, oh. only, the difference is currently the current position is not a management position, this position will become a management position and would be a double E. And um, I'm curious about the qualifications of the utility manager. What, um, what, are, what are they going to be? I mean, this, this is a guy that's going to work under the utility director. So is this, is this going to be a civil engineer position or? Very good question. My, my concept would be is whatever the basically the emphasis of the director would be, I think this position would complement with the other direction. Because typically finding someone who's electric, water, and sewer is difficult. So you're going to have to have some balance. Uh, the, the folks that just uh, handle both. And now you, you know, very likely you'll see that the director is going to be more of an administrative position, just doing the business side. Case in point would be uh, uh, in Olathe, their uh, utility department was managed, when it was separate, it was managed by an administrative type. Um, so, right. it's, there's, that's, that's a good question. I think we're just going to have to see how things shake out. But uh, Sorry, clearly, but clearly yeah. you, need, you need expertise in both fields and finding one person with that is difficult. Right. I was just wondering, are, are the is the rec written already? No, it is not. Okay. The only position that's written is the utility director. The, the utility manager has not been written yet. Okay. Any other questions, comments? Okay. Move on. Okay, thank you. Business item number four discuss the year to date budget for July. Okay, let me. You didn't like the 3,000%? Well, then the 98, 48. Yeah. But then it's July. The best information we have is at the end of uh, July. We don't have the August yet. But at the end of July, and please look at the sheet I dropped off. Uh, Looks like revenues are running at about 55%. Expenses are running at 49%. And uh, overall, we're at uh, still doing OK. Uh, nothing jumping out. You know, there's some big expenditures still out there. Uh, we have a uh, backyard uh, Derrick Digger. It's a tra small track mounted Derrick Digger that we're going to be purchasing this year. Estimate on that's about 125000 uh, we still have the uh, parking lot uh, that hasn't come in yet. Um, it's another $125,000 budget item. So there's some pretty big ticket items still coming in. <coughs> me. Is, is the uh, parking lot under the admin capital outlay? 
uh, parking lot would actually fall under the uh, capital outlay for uh, uh, distribution. Okay. Do you know what, what, what all's in the admin capital outlay? It's actually, I, I apologize. It's in contractual services. And, oh, okay. And admin capital outlay is... Uh, I'm just curious since it's 726000 Uh Yes. I don't remember why it's that number. I... I have to look. Okay. I'm tell you what. I'm curious because I know that we talked about I was thinking this is twenty sixteen though, was okay. for looking at the new building. Mm -hmm. Actually what you've got is yes, in the admin capital outlay there was a half a million for a new building. Uh we that's been pushed off once again waiting till new regime comes in. Okay. Uh so you're exactly right, sir. Uh equipment, uh, there is some money in that, uh, I think was for acquiring uh, new customers, another decision we felt it was best uh, to not advance until it could be reviewed by uh, the new director and the new department. So those are the big ticket items there. Thank you for pointing those out. And I assume the same with looking at uh, basically smart meters. That's put on hold as well. Yeah, they, yes. I think uh, based on our discussion with Greg, Last week, I think you're going to see that rising up as a part of that IRP, though, right. because that's a, uh, a great technology for conservation. Okay. One of the things with smart metering is just going to have to conform, get something that conforms to the uh, water meters also, since they're trying to have a common, I know there's some issues there as far as making the water and electric you know, all work together. That's sustainable technology. Yeah. A standard. Right. Other questions, Colin? I have questions on the revenue, Dave. Okay. Um, I don't, I'm kind of lost on that. I see June compared to July. I see intergovernment sales up 3,000%. I mean. Oh, okay. There's an error there. You look on the, 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 the second. Oh, we got. Oh, okay. I didn't see the new one. Oh, that looks much better. <laughs> yes, no, there was the, the one that was originally submitted to you. There, okay. Further review was caught today and realized. Okay. That looks but, okay. I'm good with that. I didn't know it was hiding under my sheet. Didn't realize it was there. Okay. No question. Any other questions, comments? All right, moving right along. Okay. Let's go to project update. I, I, the only thing I would say is June, June to June or July to July, because on that new sheet it still says June to July. So I assume that's supposed to be June. I'm July, assuming that June because it's 43 percent on the whole. No, I said it's okay. It's a 12. Yeah, that column doesn't look like it's been updated. Okay. Project updates. Okay. Well, we've had uh, some successes in the generation the last month. Um, we ran, uh, I think as I emailed to you, uh, we ran Unit 2 for testing purposes on the 19th, uh, produced 13.6 uh, megawatts for about four hours on average, um, notified KMEA that's available service. So we are available for dispatch for Unit 2 uh, to the SPP. Additionally, KCP&L has resolved the metering issues in our control and reading of the uh, VARs, uh, volt amper resistive uh, is for the first time in years working. So we had some wiring issues that uh, Dave and crew were able to resolve. On the 19th, uh, as you all know too, uh, we had shifted uh, the substation one circuits back to substation one from substation two. Uh, when we fired the generator, Basically, the main breaker for the substation tripped and uh, took out the east side of town. Uh, what had happened was uh, uh, we were able to, in 15 minutes, get it shifted back, everybody back up. Uh, but what ultimately, after the testing, it turned out there was a wire going into the controls that was marginal. It was operating, and once you put the added load of the starter motor, it uh, tripped everything. So. 
fortunately it was not a transformer problem. It was merely a wire that uh, 